As guitarists, we spend a lot of time focusing on our fretting hand. And yeah, there are endless scales, complex finger patterns, and beautiful chord shapes to learn. And sure, that stuff is fun and important, but how many of you out there practice this stuff for hours on end and then you go to a party as somebody hands you a guitar and asks you to play a simple strummy song and well, you kinda suck at strumming. The truth is that strumming with a great feel seems easy, but it's actually kinda tricky. So I'm Carl from Pickup Music and today we're gonna dive into the five reasons why you're strumming probably sucks and how you can fix it. So the first reason is that you're probably not thinking about your guitar as a percussion instrument. The guitar is basically a fancy tambourine and every drummer or percussionist that I've ever met that plays a little guitar is usually a groovy strumming machine and quickly becomes the coolest kid at the party. Here's some fun things to do away from the guitar that will really help you develop that inner drummer. Try playing some body percussion on your legs, your belly, your chest, wherever. The most important thing is to lock into something that feels comfortable. Now it might feel a bit silly at first, but allow yourself to have fun and just tap away for a solid minute or two. And then pick up your guitar and try to emulate the groove. Another way to do this is to actually get a percussion instrument. And I'd recommend getting a shaker. Any shaker will do, an egg shaker, a box of screws, a regular shaker. And you'll notice that the shaking motion is not that different from strumming a guitar. So not only are you developing your inner drummer, but you're working on those fine motor skills that are very similar to strumming. Another reason is you're not letting the open strings ring out when you switch chords. Now this is actually just how a lot of pros play guitar. When they're switching chords, it's very natural to just have those open strings ring out on that last up strum. And a lot of beginners and even some intermediate players don't realize this. They think that they have to switch perfectly right at the last second, but really that lift provides a little more time to get your fingers there and it also just sounds natural. The next reason is that you aren't following through with your down strum. A solid percussive strum has a quick flick to it and a distinct landing point. A great way to make sure you're following through is by tapping a beat on your leg with a pen or pencil. And if you're making solid contact and it's feeling like a steady beat, then you know you're getting the right motion. All right, another reason is that your arm is too stiff. It's gonna really help your strumming, your sound, and your overall feel if you keep your elbow, your arm, your wrist nice and relaxed. Remember that flick motion that we talked about? Well, that's not gonna happen if your arm is super stiff. And by the way, while you're at it, don't forget about your whole body, your neck, your back, your shoulders, your legs. Try to keep everything nice and loose. Another reason is that you don't know how to count basic rhythm. Two, three, four. For a lot of people, rhythm and groove is kind of this esoteric thing that only happens when the stars align. But if you really just understand the difference between basic rhythms, like quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes, you'll be able to understand rhythm in a more conceptual way, and that'll help you be able to learn different strum patterns, different styles of music, and this magical mojo stuff will be easier to attain. <laughs> Now, if you'd like to learn more about rhythm and strumming and all guitar fundamentals, be sure to check out the Fretboard Foundation series at Pickup Music. These learning pathways are designed to be the most fun and structured way to learn guitar online. So hopefully some of these tips have helped you out and you can now be the cool kid at the party too. But if there's any tips that I missed that have helped you on your strumming journey, let us know down below. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and happy strumming.